Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ashley makes everyone in the thrift store, including herself, feel incredibly uncomfortable by trying to vlog the whole thing without anybody noticing, but everyone does notice, and then they stare at you, and it's really uncomfortable. Right, folks, today we are doing another come thrifting with me back to school edition. Am I actually going back to school soon? Not for another six weeks, thank god, this summer still has some juice left in it, but I sure as hell am gonna capitalize on the fact that the rest of y'all are. So, here's a little outfit of the day before we head out. This is what I'm wearing, and I know I'm already gonna regret it. It is not an ideal thrifting outfit because it's like one piece, so I'm gonna have to take the whole thing off to try on pants or tops, but I just bought it and I was really feeling it. I feel like I'm ready to go on an adventure. It's really just hitting the sweet spot between four-year-old and 50s airplane mechanic, but I'm kind of into it. Um, I think, personalized, I'm gonna bring this little backpack just to complete that door of the Explorer aesthetic. And for shoes, probably just my trusty old Converse. Something easy to walk in. Gotta be prepared for the uh, extreme sport that is thrifting. And I also threw in this little hair bow just because I was honestly too lazy to actually curl my hair today. So I just wanted to like keep it out of my face. Darling, you This parking spot is the actual worst. Darling. So today we are going to a new thrift store. Oh, ho, oh, oh. exciting stuff. Hold on to your seats, guys. I live in LA and a lot of you guys have been recommending in the comment section or sliding into my DMs and telling me that I should try some Goodwills that are farther out in the suburbs. A couple of you guys in particular recommended the Valley. So that is where we're going today. Now in the two years that I've lived in LA, I've never headed this far north. So it is an adventure today. I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones, like heading to the wall. Oh, it's only 27 minutes, that's not that bad. This is the first song that I ever made a YouTube video to. It was five ways to wear a t-shirt dress. And this was the fucking bop in the background. Okay, so here we are. The Goodwill is very under construction right now, but it seems to still be open, so hopefully we're all good. One thing that I never get used to as long as I live here is the fact that there are mountains everywhere. Like on the drive here, we are just surrounded by the most beautiful mountains. Um, I guess hence the name, the valley. Um, but you know, I am still impressed. Okay, let's go shopping. Oh, hello, pigeon friends. Guys, I'm so excited. This is such a bigger goodwill than I expected. And it's so calm too, which I feel like potentially will make it more awkward for me vlogging. But man, it is so calming in here. I fucking love the suburbs sometimes. I've been shopping for a little while now and this Goodwill has the best playlist of any Goodwill I've ever been to. Straight bops, we're talking Charlie Puth, we're talking some 50s throwbacks, we're talking Love Yourself by Justin Bieber, which is playing right now, which was ironically also the only slow song that played at my senior prom. It was like the slowest song that came on all night. My date was like, do you want to dance? So we just slow dance to Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. Hashtag romantic. Okay, anyways. The buttons on this are so gorgeous, but the actual shape of this, I don't know what's going on here.
Okay guys, I have shopped around a little bit. At first, I was kind of pessimistic. I didn't think this was the best Goodwill, but I ended up with a considerable pile of items. I have some over here too. Um, so I'm not gonna vlog too much in the fitting room because last time I did that, I got kicked out. So I made it out of the Goodwill in one piece and without getting kicked out, so that's great. I got quite a few things and a decent number of them are fall themed even though that seems so absurd at this moment because I just came back to my car that's been sitting here for like an hour and I am sweltering. I am so sorry that in every single video I just complain about how sweaty I am, but that is just like my main mental state. Um, anyway, oh also while I was in line we hit 200,000 subscribers which is absolutely crazy and I just wanted to say thank you so much. Let me know in the comments below whether I should do like a video for it. Even though I'm so grateful I know 200k isn't as big of a milestone as 100k and I didn't want to be like that annoying middle school couple that celebrates their anniversary every like month. Oh happy one month babe, happy two months babe, like happy 10 weeks babe, um, you know? I don't want to like over celebrate so let me know if I should wait till like 500k or a million one day to eat more cereal. Um, anyways, let's get into the haul. So the first thing that I got is this red blouse, which if I could, the first thing I got is this red blouse. I was just really attracted to the button detail on the front. I feel like you don't see that on a lot of tops and when you do, they cost like $200 at Reformation. I think this will look so good tucked into high-waisted jeans, kind of dress up a more casual ensemble. Oh God, my camera's running out of battery. Why does it always do this? Okay. I also picked up this mock neck crop top, which is probably like the most boring thing in this haul. It's from some random brand called Decree, but honestly it fits me so well. I have a similar mock neck to this already that's from American Eagle, but I bought it around five years ago. So it's kind of pilling a lot and the mock neck is a little bit lower. And I honestly think this one fits me perfectly. The length is perfect. The mock neck is perfect. <laughs> Okay, this is my absolute favorite thing from this haul, which is probably not very school appropriate for most people, but I feel like you could make it work for college or even for high school if you layered like a sweater or a jacket over it. And that is this blue slip from Victoria's Secret. Um, did somebody have sex in this? Maybe, but I really hope that they washed it before they donated it. I'm probably gonna wash this again. Um, it has this little gem in the front and then I just thought the fit was really flattering. And I also like that the fabric is a little bit more matte. I don't know if it's just because it's old and it's been washed a lot or that's how they designed it, but it's not that super shiny satin that most slip dresses are made out of. That's a tongue twister. Then I got a couple more like fall sweatery items, which uh, it like hurts me to look at this right now because I'm so sweaty, but this is just a plain nude one. I thought it would look really good paired with a pair of jeans and maybe like some funky black boots just for like a really simple fall outfit. Hey guys, modeling Ashley here. I actually forgot to mention in the car that I also picked up this paper boy Baker boy? I don't know what these hats are called. You guys know this trendy ass shit. I found one of these on my way out of the thrift store and miraculously it is actually big enough to fit on my giant ass bulbous head, which is amazing. Look at that beauty. It's a little bit puffier than my other one, but I think if I kind of smoosh down the puff, it won't make my head look too big. And there we go. I feel like I'm honestly the last one to hop on the paperboy hat bandwagon, but damn, I have been missing out. Like covers up all of my weird greasy hair, makes it look like I actually tried with my outfit. I don't know, I'm very excited about this. I also got this cashmere one, just a basic turtleneck, but it's so fucking soft. It's like a cloud. So I thought this would be lovely to cuddle up in. Also in the cozy zone, I got this gray cardigan. It's originally by Eddie Bauer, but it just is like a really sturdy cardigan type thing. I feel like it's not the most aesthetically pleasing sweater, but sometimes, you know, when it gets a little bit cold, you just wanna like throw on something cozy and cuddle up in it. And I also thought this would be good for those days when it starts to cool down a little bit, or my classrooms are blasting their AC really high. So I can just wear like a tank top and shorts or a dress underneath and then carry this with me in case I get chilly. I got this top, which is so fucking weird, but so groovy. I don't like know, I think it's a, I guess it's a brewery shirt. And on the back, it has like a weird butt pocket. 
Hey guys, it's the next day and my camera ran out of battery like it always does. I really, really need to buy another one, but it's like 40 bucks, so I have been procrastinating it. But anyways, I'm doing the try-on clips right now, so I guess I'll just continue this haul in voiceover. So like I was saying, there is this whole row of butt pockets on the back. My current theory is that it's for beer storage, so if you ever run into a beer-related emergency, you just have like three cans right there on your butt. Um, but either way, I just keep it tucked into my jeans. Okay, next up, we have this snazzy little number. It's actually a boy's H&M blazer, but it's in this amazing navy velvet, which warms my little texture hoe of a heart. Also kind of looks like something that Harry Styles would wear to the VMAs, but I'm not mad. This dress is aggressively summery and really not for school, but I thought I would just throw it in here anyways. The print is totally something my mom would try to make me wear when I was like five years old, but I thought with the polka dot trim, it was quite charming. And lastly, here's something super cash for your everyday class schedule. Um, no, just kidding. This is not at all back to school themed, but maybe prom themed. I just tried it on for fun in the fitting rooms and I thought it was too good to pass up. It's by Tahari, which is quite a good brand. And I love the 90s inspired straight across neckline and the open back. Okay, and that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck in school. May your teachers not be assholes. Make you guys sit next to you in class. All right, see you guys next week. Bye.